Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today we're going to talk about natural sorting. What is natural sorting? Well, it's, it, it's sorting the way that you think sorting should be. And if you've got a text field that has numbers and letters in it, and you want to sort those numbers the natural way, well, that's what we're going to do in today's video. Today's question comes from Clara in Bowie, Maryland, one of my Platinum members. Clara says, I receive lists of unit numbers that contain both numbers and letters, such as 1A, 1D, 2F, 5, 7, 101, D, etc. Not 101, 101, D. Big, big difference between an O and a zero when you're talking about computer stuff. When I sort them in my database, the numbers are sorted alphanumerically, so 100 ends up before 2. How can I sort them numerically first and then by letters? Well, that is exactly what natural sorting is. All right, if you look at this list here, this is alphanumerically sorted. What Basically what the computer does is it just looks at the columns, right? It looks at, it sorts it by this first column, then by the second column, then by the third column, right? And numbers come first. So zero would become, would come before A, which comes before B, right? And then two and so on. But the 105 is sorted in with the ones. So what you want is a numeric sort, but you want to ignore the letters, okay? And to do this, we can use one of my great friends, the val function, stands for value. To do this today, we're going to use a calculated query field. So if you're not familiar with how to do that, how to create a calculated field, go watch this video first, then come on back. Okay, here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database. You can download it off my website if you want to, but we're just going to close this and we're going to make our own table. So create table design. And I always start off with an ID of some kind. It doesn't matter for this example, right? And then we'll make a field. Let's just call it my field. Now, if you're going to have numbers and letters in the same field, this has to be short text. You can't make it a numeric type, right? All right. So save that. We'll just call it my T for my table. And let's put some values in it. So I'm going to put in here, let's go one, two, three. And then I got one A. I got two C. I got 100A, right, 205F, and 1001G, whatever, okay? Now, if I sort this list, right-click, sort, you can see there's your alphanumeric sort. It looks at the first column and the second column and so on, and that's how they're sorted. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a query mm -hmm. now, save changes to this guy, sure, create, query design, and I'll bring in that table, right, my T, right there, Close this guy. All right, I'll bring in ID and I'll bring in my field. And we're gonna make another calculated query over here, calculated field, that is calculated field. And I'm gonna zoom in so you can see better, Shift F2, okay? And we'll call this field, doesn't matter, we'll call it X, right, X colon. And it's going to be the value, V-A-L, of my field, just like that. Value is a function, we're gonna send my field into it. And what value does is it's gonna, it's gonna take the alphanumeric part off the left side of the field. All right, let me show you. Ready, run it, and there you go. See, got one, two, three, one, two. All right, 100, 205, and 1001. Now, there are some rules with val. All right, val calculates the value of a string starting from the left and continuing until it encounters a non-numeric character or a period. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, ABC returns 1, 2, 3. It stops when it hits that A. 45.67X gives you 45.67. Okay, 1A2B3C gives you 1 because it stops once it hits that A. Now, dollar signs and commas are considered non-numeric. So if you send it 14 like that, you're going to get a 0 because it didn't find any numeric characters before it hit that dollar sign. All right, 100, comma 2. Right, brings you 100. This might be different if your regional settings are set to uh, countries that use commas for decimal places. I'm not sure, I don't know, I've never done it. So someone can post in the comments down below and let me know. It probably sees the comma as the decimal placeholder. Okay? All right, so now that you got this X, now we can sort based on this column. So what I'm gonna do is go to design view. We're gonna move X to the left of my field. Because remember, sorting works left to right. So I'm gonna change the sort right here, drop this down and pick ascending. And then if you want to also sort by this guy, so if you got you know three ones in a row, it'll then sort by my field, then you can do this as well. And now if you run it, 
there you go. There's your numeric values. And then this field is now sorted properly numerically with a natural sort, right? All the ones are together, twos, three, 100, and so on. Okay, okay. And now you can just save this query as my queue and you're pretty much done. That's it. So that's pretty much it. That's gonna be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. A special thank you and shout out to our diamond sponsors. First, we have Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions, manufacturing experts specializing in Access and SQL Server. Juan is a 13-time Microsoft Access MVP. You can check them out at accessexperts.com. Another shout out to Sammy Shama from Shama Consultancy. Sammy is a certified Microsoft Office specialist, and he not only offers Access application development, but he also provides one-on-one -on -one tutoring services. So if you need someone to hold your hand and help you with your access project, Sammy is your guide. Check him out at shamaconsultancy.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down at the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't wanna to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really wanna learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long, you can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, wanna get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you.
Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.